Hi everybody, I'm Matt Murray from Isotope. And I'm Evan Allen from Isotope. And we came here to Reverb.com today to talk about some pretty common problems and issues that might come up while you're recording. And we're gonna show you how to take care of a few of those things using our RX plugin pack. Um, so the first one, I really love this example because this happens to me all the time. I'm recording, everything's going well, but it turns out my levels weren't set at the right spot and now I've clipped, I've distorted things because I recorded them too loud. So, you know, what can I do to, to fix that? So clipping and distortion was something that used to be irreparable. Like if it's distorted, that's it. It's never going back. Yeah. We actually have a plugin called RXD Clip that is specifically for fixing clipping. So here we have a file that actually, without even playing this back, we can easily see that it's clipped because you can see it's sort of like squared off in the waveform. Yeah. Uh, I believe we clipped the preamp accidentally on this. Uh, we'll take a listen here. <laughs> it starts to crackle a little bit, yeah. start bringing out weird harmonics that weren't originally there. Mm -hmm. um, so what we have is our XD clip, and this does exactly what it says on the tin. It is there to remove clipping. Uh, so we have a few controls here. I'm gonna set the quality to high just because I want the highest quality yeah. sound here. Pretty simple. Um, and over here we have the histogram. So as I start to play back audio, we're going to see that start to populate with basically level information. And uh, one of the telltale signs within the spectrogram here is if there's all of a sudden like a horizontal line and nothing above it, that typically is going to indicate where that clipping occurred. Okay. And even like, so I'm not listening right now, but we can start to see this populate and right here oh, yeah. and here. See it. Yep. So we pull down the threshold to just below that point, and essentially at that point, D-Clip is going in and redrawing everything above that uh, line. So let's take a listen. And just to visually demonstrate this as well, I'm just going to run this as an audio suite plugin right now so you can see this. I'm gonna set this at the same settings. And I should point out as well um, that this functions, uh, right now I'm working in Pro Tools, but this plugin works in you know, GarageBand, Logic, uh, Audacity, And video Live. hosts as well if you're working on videos. Yep, and video hosts too. Um, so this is before. <laughs> and now after. Yeah, you can see how those peaks are just drawn right back in there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so distortion is now something we can actually cure, if you will, <laughs> with D-Clip. Now, another common problem that we will often run into in our recordings is buzz. Particularly, you and I are both guitarists, um, and for anyone else who's ever recorded guitar, you're almost sure to have, either if you've mic'd your amp, you're gonna have hissing or some buzz underneath. Um, and even sometimes if you just like DI right into your interface, um, you may still get some weird sort of electrical going on. Yeah, that noise can really come from a lot of sources. I've had it from, you know, bad power outlets because we're all plugged into the same surge protector in the practice space or uh, maybe running too many pedals and just having the gain dimed out on my amp will definitely give me <laughs> yeah. that buzz. Or even just an air conditioner in the background. This is very true. Yeah, it could be all sorts of different sources. Um, we have a plugin in the RX plugin pack called RX Dialog Denoise that uh, while originally designed for vocals can be used on all sorts of different sources including things like drums and guitar. Um, so we'll take a quick listen. Um, so this was, this we have some actual buzzing in this guitar part and we'll see that we have like a little bit of space here beforehand and that's where you'll primarily hear it and then it is throughout the entire recording. Okay. So again, yeah. it's all that sort of like that low buzz. And that's the kind of thing where in the past I probably would have grabbed an EQ and started EQing out the low end of my guitar, but ideally I want to keep all that low end information and keep that really meaty part of the guitar there. It's an important, yeah, it's one of the main reasons you wanted that in there to have that chugging and whatnot. Um, so in this case, I'm going to load up Dialog Denoise. And you'll see, so it's a very simple interface. Uh, we have two different modes here. 
So let's say I'm recording vocals in my bedroom, which I do, um, and like some cars drove by, maybe the noise of traffic was consistently changing. Sure. The auto mode is actually going to adapt to that changing noise floor. So even if the noise one second is completely different from another second, it's going to automatically adapt to that. In this particular case, the noise is the same throughout. It's just that the buzz throughout. So I'm going to switch this into manual. And what I'm going to do is hit learn and playback so it can learn what that noise at the very beginning is. So now it knows what that noise looks like. And I'm going to start off with no reduction and then push it to start getting rid of that background noise. So at the very beginning, bypassed. And now with dialogue noise. And it's gotten rid of that without actually harming the sound of the guitar itself. It's still bright and jangly and sparkly. <laughs> and actually, this denoiser is used quite a lot here by the folks at Reverb.com on interviews just like this one. Here's what it sounds like without RX. And here's what it sounds like with RX. So another common issue that we run into is clicks. And this could be anything from you know, overly aggressive plucks on a bass to uh, just tracking and sync issues between different outboard gear. Um, all sorts of reasons you may end up with clicks. We have a plugin called RxD Click that specifically targets those clicks and removes them without harming the actual tonality and sounds of the original audio. Now here I have a file that I believe this was most likely a sync and clocking issue with the interface that we were using. So this is a bass track and you'll hear clicks that of course should not be there. And you can even visually see it in the meters here. So uh, we're going to load in RxD Click. So we have a few different modes here. So if, if we're dealing with more sort of like low frequency thumps, we could change the click type um, or the algorithm to multiband. For most issues with our RX plugins, you oftentimes don't actually have to change any settings. And this happens to be one of those situations where we don't. So without adjusting anything here, we now no longer have any of those clicks. nothing's happening. And we can even output clicks only. Uh, so this is going to solo just what we're removing. And these are the clicks that we're removing. Yep, yeah, you don't hear any bass in there. Nothing of the actual bass is being removed from that. But again, this can be all sorts of issues from clocking problems to mouth noise. Sure, lip smacks, things like that. Lip smacks, yep any number of issues. Yeah, I think we've also talked about it being used when uh, there's cell phone interference. You get that dee 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 dee, you can clean up that stuff. Uh, the thump is a great example too. I've had my singer get too excited, kicks the mic stand while he's doing that killer take, and you can't get that weird low frequency whoomp out of it. Um, the, the thump does a really good job of taking care of that. So thanks for checking out this video. If you have any other, if you want to learn more about the RX plugin pack, check it out right here on Reverb Sync. Thanks a lot.